did you get the kids? That was my girl. Hello and welcome to the webinar today, Set Yourself Free and Live in Joy. I'm Renee Brown. I'm so excited you're here and I'm excited that I get to share something I am really passionate about. As a visualizing coach, what I love to do most is empower people to know their true worthiness and then live from that sense of empowerment and express into the world and create the life they really want, achieve dreams that are important to them and goals that are meaningful to them. That's what we're here to talk about today. Let me ask you a couple of questions. Do you really feel free to be your true self? When you're out in the world, when you're with other people, when you're at your work, when you're with the, even your family, are you really being your true self or are you monitoring who you are based on will they approve or is this going to get me where I think I need to be? We're going to talk about that and find a solution where you can really be your true self but also achieve what's important to you. There is a way to do it and it's, it's so much easier than you might think. And the next question is actually the core of this. Do you really know your true worthiness? Do you know where your worthiness comes from? Do you feel that you were born with an innate sense of worthiness to be happy, to achieve in the world anything that your heart desires as if it was a, a little whisper from the power that creates worlds to guide you toward it? We want to talk a little bit about that today too. And ultimately, what I want to want you to leave with is this. Once you know your true worthiness and then from that begin to express your true self in the world, you will begin to create so much happiness. You will be happy and you will be successful. And honestly, until you live from that core place of freedom and truth, you cannot achieve as much as you're here to achieve. No matter how great your life might be, there's even greater things you can achieve. It kind of goes back to that, that quote we've all heard all our lives. It's from the Bible and it says, when you know the truth, the truth will set you free. And that's what we're going to talk about today, this truth that will set you free to live a happy life and be your true self. Now, before we go into the seminar, I want to talk up just to tell you a little bit about me so you'll know, for those of you who don't know me yet, you'll know a little bit more about me. I was raised in unity. Uh, I was raised in, with metaphysics. I never was taught to view God in any way other than a metaphysical approach. So for me, what that means is I learned from my very first memory that God is loving, God is benevolent, God is good and kind and caring, and that God is everywhere. And when I, I was a, a youth director for years with the Unity Church, and I have always taught the kids there is not a spot where God is not. And that's what I was taught as a little girl by my childhood minister. There is not a spot where God is not. There is nothing in this world that does not have the energy vibration of source. Source energy is how I like to look at God. And, I, and that's what, from that foundation we're going to build this concept today. Uh, as I've told you, I've worked with uh, the Unity Churches as a as youth ed director. Also, I was trained as a chaplain, a lay chaplain in the Unity Church. And that's based on the principles of silent unity, if you're familiar with them. A wonderful prayer support available to anyone. And I've used that my entire life, even as a little girl. You can call them for prayer support that is non-denominational, loving and helpful and in the moment, any, from anywhere in the world. At, based on that, I went through this, the chaplain program, and that is the basis from which I use for my coaching, because I believe that my job as a visualizing coach is to see a person as whole, see them in, as having achieved what they are struggling to achieve, and hold that sacred space for them, and then lovingly and firmly and lovingly give them tools and processes to make it easier and simpler for them to join that space, that vibrational truth of their, their power and their beauty and their ability to achieve anything they desire. That's what I do as a visualizing coach. Now, if you want to learn more about me, feel free to check out my website and also my blog. My website is visualize123.com and my blog is zen and zest.com, Z-E-N-A-N-D-Z-E-S-T.com. 
Okay, so the webinar today will be divided into two parts. The first part is going to be, we're going to focus a little bit on this idea of energy and vibration. I find that even though it's a buzzword right now because of the wonderful teachings about Law of Attraction from the hit movie The Secret, I find that a lot of people don't really get the core power of it and that's important. So we're going to talk about that a little bit. And then the second part of the, of the webinar is going to be focused on how do you actually take that information and then apply it in your everyday life for real results. That's really important and there's a formula for that that I teach and I'm going to share that with you. Now, to prepare for the webinar, it's very important that we all get ourselves in the same vibrational space and there's a lovely way to do that. I have these wonderful friends who are musicians, Lavender Soul, and they allow me to use their music. Thank you, Lavender Soul. If you want to know about, more about them, go to their website, LavenderSoul.com. We're going to go to one of their songs. It's called Breathe. As you listen to the song, it's just a couple of minutes, I want you to just sit back and do exactly that. I want you to breathe, and I want you to align. I want you to focus on being happy and carefree and trust that what's coming next is going to guide you closer to achieving your dreams in ways that are easier and faster than you might have imagined. Here's Lavender Soul with Breathe. Trust that I will guide you in whatever you do. Just remember to breathe and do your very best to live in love. Give in love. Be in love. And love you shall receive.
Welcome back. Did you just love that song? That is my very favorite song from Lavender Soul, although I love a lot of their music. So once again, let me give you their website. It's www.lavendersoul.com. You will love their music. There's a lot of free things there, so please go check it out. Speaking of free things, I want to let you know that we do have some free tools for you today, so stay tuned, and I'm going to talk about those after a little bit. The basic idea of what we're talking about today comes from a formula I created called Visualize123. It's a system you can learn more about, and we're going to go into it a little bit more. That it, I, I struggled for a while when I was a chaplain, a youth ed director, and just as a, as a friend and as a person listening to people and offering wisdom that I had learned it, through metaphysics, through self-improvement, through counseling that I'd done when I was younger, um, and just studying some of the quantum physics and scientific ideas that are so available to us these days. Um, I struggled to help people understand how do you create, how do you actually take these spiritual concepts but put them to use in the real world and have real things happen that you want to happen. And uh, that passion and that curiosity is what led me to create Visualize 123. I was going through a really bad divorce. I needed to find a new career. I talk a little bit about this on my website, so I'd love for you to go check it out. There's some free things there for you too. The, to sum it up, I spent time every day visualizing the ideal career, even though I didn't know what I wanted my new career to be. But I visualized the parts that I enjoyed, and I did it with a lot of feeling, not a lot of detail about the, the result, and that's where I think we get, we've been given some misinformation. What's important is to let our mind do that for us. Let the power that creates the world create the, all the details, the how. We're, our job is to focus on what we want and how it will feel when we achieve it, and then we will be moved toward it. Here's an example. The first part of today's uh, webinar is to talk about how energy is real. So let's think about this for a minute. One of the most famous quotes by Einstein, who I love to read about and learn about, is this. You cannot solve a problem from the same level of thought or mindset or consciousness from which the problem was created. Now, I've paraphrased that, but the basic idea, you may have heard this before, Einstein was brilliant at solving problems that people thought were impossible. Absolutely, Some, in the beginning of his life, people thought he was impossible. But he actually was even on the brink of, of resolving some quantum physics issues at the end of his life that we now live with today as everyday realities. And so he believed that to, the way to solve a problem was to connect to the level of consciousness that matched the solution, not the problem. And that's the biggest mistake I see people make. As a visualizing coach, I t I'm always having to help people understand you can't stare into the problem and create anything except more of things that look like the problem. You have to be aware of the problem, yes, use that to propel you forward, but you must learn to focus on the solution. Well, how do you do that? Well, let me give you a little test. I want you to try something for me right now. Whatever environment you're in, I want you to just take a second and look around the room and notice everything in the room that is red. Just go ahead and do that right now. Take about, you know, five seconds, ten seconds. Look around the room. Notice everything in the room that is red. Just make it easy. No big deal. Just easily notice. Okay? Now, I want you to come back and I want you to close your eyes. And for about 17 seconds, I want you to focus on the color green. Okay, just focus on green. Green. Just let it be easy. Focus on green. Green, green, green. Okay, now open your eyes, look around the very same room, and notice how many things are green that you didn't notice when you were looking for the color red. Isn't that interesting? Do you know why that happens? It's very simple. It's a scientific explanation. I've been very blessed to work with some great authors when I was doing book promotions years ago. John Astrup was one of them, Bruce Lipton another one. They're both just profound thought leaders in their field. And uh, John Astrup is great at teaching how the brain works. And he teaches about an idea called the reticular activating system. And what that means is, your brain is, is just powerful and brilliantly created. It is designed 
to look in your environment for the things you program it to look for, okay? Bruce Lipton takes that a little bit further because he explains how every cell of our body is doing that. And his book, The Biology Belief, is just groundbreaking, and you, many of you may be familiar with it, where he gives us the metaphysical explanation for how it is that we create the body that we choose, the health we choose, and the fitness we choose. Well, that's true in every dimension of life, not just our body, it's true about everything. So if you are programmed to look for the color red, the green things in the room were there, they just didn't pop out at you the way the red things did. How many times do you think you may have walked into a room full of people, you're focused on a problem, you're worried about something, or you're afraid something's not going to go well in a meeting you just came from or a meeting you're going to, or you just have some general sense of anxiety about your life. So you walk into a room full of people, whether it's business or social, and you walk right by people who might be a perfect match to the solution for whatever is on your mind because you're not focused on the solution. You're focused on the problem. And the only people in the room that you notice are the people who are a match to that problem mindset. They may not have the same problem as you do, but they're in the same state of worry or anxiety or fear about something important to them. And you, you connect to them. That's who lights up in your field when you look around, as opposed to the people who could help you go from point A, where you are, the problem, to point B the solution. That's how real energy vibration is. It is very real. It is radiating from you at all times. Now, if you want to learn more about that, I've written a book about it. It's called Everyday Magic and Miracles, How to Harness the Power of Visualizing with the Joy of Inspired Action. And you can get a free excerpt from that and a toolkit I'm going to give away later. It's called Set Yourself Free, 10 minute, your 10 minute toolkit to feel better fast. So we're giving that away soon and you'll get an excerpt out of my book and some, and some other powerful tools. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the second part of the webinar. Before we do, we're gonna take another break with some music. Music is a powerful way to keep your vibration aligned in a positive state. I recommend music frequently during the day. Get up and dance to it whenever you can. That's a great thing to do. I love how Louise Hay teaches to always make time every single day of your life to dance. It's powerful. So here we go to the next song by Lavender Soul. It's called Live, Love, You, Choose. Thank you, Lavender Soul. The whole of nature is your playground and all things in it are your playthings. Regard yourselves as free, as masters of the universe.
what's meant to be Think carefully Cause that will come true Right before you go to their website lavendersoul.com absolutely beautiful music I've always described it as a musical massage I think you will find it to be true for you as well so welcome back this is part two where we're going to talk about the actual formula for how to create things in your life okay the first thing I want to talk about is the flow of how your your thoughts create and I've told you earlier, Bruce Lipton has a wonderful book I recommend that for some, if you really want to get in depth to the science of it. The basic flow is like this. As you have a thought, uh, it creates a belief system. Now, a people, we tend to think a belief is like this big thing that has power over us. It's not like that at all. We created the belief, so we can change it anytime we want. And the way you change it is one thought at a time. So a thought repeated over and over and over gains momentum energetically and becomes a belief. Now, the belief then determines your, your perception, your limitation. Your belief determines what you believe you deserve. It determines what you uh, accept in the world. You can see you know, there were, we once upon a time we believed the world was flat, for example, now we know differently. Well, somebody had to stop believing that was true in order to go out and experience it. And then from their experience, they could speak with powerful conviction that convinced one by one by one the rest of the world that no, actually the world is not flat. The world as we know it on planet Earth is not flat, right? And it's like that in anything in life. You have been programmed with beliefs from childhood and everyone who's ever influenced you, any person of authority, a, a spouse or romantic partner, people that you've worked with, your, and yourself. And think about this one, the media. Constantly, all day long, we are bombarded by the media in ways that are wonderful and also in ways that are negative. So it's very important that you learn to control the thoughts that come at you all the time because you're, you're taking it in. If you're not deliberately focusing on what you want to create, you are unconsciously creating based on what thoughts have been formed for you in your environment or by people that raised you or have influence over you. So the way to change that is to begin thinking thoughts you choose, allow them to form beliefs, that from the beliefs you will begin having different expectations and once you begin to have an expectation that something is true for you, you will really begin to manifest it. It will, be, it will become true for you. Now let's back up one second because there's another part of this that's very important and is often missed. How do you change your thoughts? Do you do it by controlling your thoughts? No. 
Who can control their thoughts all day long? Nobody can. If you're, so, if you're doing that, you're not functioning in life, right? You need to be in life. You need to be in the flow of life. You need to be embracing all the good things in life. And some of the good things in life are brought about, brought about by things that might seem not to be good, right? But it's by knowing something you don't want that you become clearly, powerfully aware of what you do want. So. It's really cool when you can get to a point in life where what seems to be negative, what others might say, oh, poor you, this is happening to you. You can say, you know what, it's okay. I created that before because I didn't know better. But now I know better, so it's no big deal because now I can create differently. And that is a sense of freedom and empowerment that I would love to help you achieve. It's, a, it's really awesome to create from that place. And don't expect yourself to be in it all the time. Nobody can be in it all the time, but when you can be in that space most of the time, it's, life is really fun and, and you're in touch with all that's beautiful about life instead of all that's worrisome and difficult about life. They're both there. It's like the green and the red in the room. They're both there, but which one are you focusing on? Which one are you focusing on? So if, you, if you've had some challenges in life, this is a tough time in the economy for a lot of people. And so I'm going to address that a little bit. If that has been impacting your life in some way, I'd like you to trust that that doesn't have to be true for you. You can begin to control what you believe about that. And the way to do that is by listening to your emotions. Your emotions are how you know whether or not you're focusing on something that brings you joy or something that creates more fear and anxiety. So let me say this very carefully. When you are focusing on something and it feels good, that means you're moving toward the achievement of what you're focusing on, which hopefully is your desire. When you're focusing on something, it could be the same thing, your desire, at a goal you want to achieve, but it feels bad, it doesn't mean you're focusing on the wrong thing. It means that what you believe about it doesn't match the achievement of it. And that dissonance is what feels bad. That's negative energy. I mean, energy is not really negative. That's a phrase we use, but that's a negative emotion. It doesn't feel good. The energy flow that takes you toward what you want, when you're aligned with it, it feels good. And the energy flow when, that takes you toward it when you're not aligned with it, it's like a river beating you up. You're going the wrong way and it's going to beat you up. It doesn't feel good. And so when you feel negative emotion, that's what it's telling you. You're not going in the same direction as your goal with your focus. And your focus has to be aligned with the energy that is your dominant energy. Okay? So let me read you a quote by Abraham Hicks. They're wonderful teachers of vibrational energy and how to really embrace it and utilize it in your everyday life. This is a great quote, so bear with me while I read for you. Just one second. You don't have to worry about what their vibration is if your vibration is one of connection. Because if your vibration is one of connection, you're going to dominate the vibration. This is the way you learn your relationships. The thing that most people do not understand is that you get to control the way you feel because you get to choose the thoughts you think. Most people think that they only have the option of responding to the circumstances that surround them. And here's what makes them attempt the impossible, which is to control the circumstances around them, which only feeds their feeling of frustration and vulnerability because it doesn't take very much life experience to discover you can't control all of those circumstances, but you can control your vibration. And when you control your vibration, you've controlled everything that has anything to do with you. That quote is from The Teachings of Abraham. If you want to learn more about them, Jerry and Esther Hicks have a wonderful website. It's abraham-hicks.com. Lots of wonderful materials for you there. So I hope now you're understanding that the power of creation lies in 
uh, your vibration because everything is energy. So when you start getting in touch with the sense of your energy, and you don't worry so much about other people's energy, certainly be aware of it. You can't help not be aware of it because you're going to be in the world experiencing things with people everywhere you go. But be aware of it, but make sure that you stay focused, keep your focus, like Einstein said, on at the level of thinking that will create the solution. So your focus, which will become your vibration then, has to be on something positive, the feeling of the achievement you're going for, the solution to the problem, the goal you desire, the love you're looking for, the increased wealth that you seek, the health and vitality that you would love to experience, you must learn to keep your focus on that. Now I have a few points to help you with that. Three steps to create your life. The first one is this. You must align. Align with the power that flows through you. There is a power in life force everywhere you look, in nature. I love to use an example of just a gorgeous tree. I'm very blessed to have some beautiful trees around me. One that is especially beautiful that I've given a name to because this tree is just is a great example to me of living life to the fullest. And I call her Maggie because she's majestic. So when you focus on something like a majestic tree in nature, you can see and feel the power that creates worlds at work. It flows through that tree and it flows through you as well and me. It flows, it flows through every living, breathing thing. Every living thing in, on the planet has a flow of energy going through it. That's what life is, is that flow of energy. So when you learn to align with that, you create powerfully. You don't move the mountain yourself physically. You have the faith that moves the mountain. If you'd like to learn more about that, that's where a private coaching might be helpful. I offer private coaching and I offer group coaching, and you can learn more about that on my website, visualize123.com. Step number two, to create your life. That's your focus. We've talked a lot about that, so I think you understand now that you must focus on what you want to achieve, and it must be with a positive vibration, not fear-based. Gee, I hope this will happen. I wish this would happen, but I'm doubtful. And you can tell by how you feel. When you focus on it, how does it feel? Does it feel good? Do you begin to feel eager? Do you begin to feel a little sense of, wow, this, I really think I can do this. Then you're focusing with positive energy and you're about to have uh, some manifestation happen. And I talk a lot about, more about this in my book, Everyday Magic and Miracles. Uh, you're gonna get an extra of that if, at the end of the webinar, so I think that will help you. Now, to understand the, the range of energy which determines your focus. Another free gift you're going to get today is a worksheet with a video training by me, how to use it, and it's called Feel Better Fast. And it basically gives a, a, an emotional scale, which is, was not developed by me, it was developed by Abraham Hicks, and uh, you'll learn more about that on the worksheet. But it, I, my training and my worksheet is designed to help you evaluate where am I, that's point A, what am I feeling? when I focus on something I'm trying to achieve. And then, how to, if, that's, if it's not a positive state, how to move up that scale. And you can do it in less than 10 minutes. Your 10 minute toolkit to feel better fast. So I'm gonna give that to you at the end of the, of the webinar. So if you're a person who needs help focusing, I have another tool that's wonderful. You'll see it on my website, Visualize123. It's a, a custom designed video to help you focus specifically on the goals you're trying to achieve and maintain positive focus that's uninterrupted for at least 17 seconds when you, when you focus. So go to the page called Sample Videos and you'll see Create Your Life Videos. You're welcome to use the ones there for yourself as, as well. If you'd like one custom made for you, you can see on the website how to get more information about that. Step three in creating your life, that's achieve. We wanna actually go out in the world and achieve, don't we? But we want to do it after we've aligned and when we know our focus is positive so that the achievement is not this struggle and strain and stressful and anxiety producing things. We don't want to create more turmoil as we achieve. We want to be in this flowing state of joy and happiness and, and yes, we're going to be busy and yes, we're going to be active. We're going to be busy and active in ways that feel good as opposed to busy and active in ways that feel stressful and draining for us. We want to feel enlivened by our activity, not drained by it. 
So if you'd like a little help with the achieving part, then I have a great tool. Uh, people tell me this helps them tremendously. I call it your daily compass. It's part of my Visualize 123 system. And this is the key component for taking the concept of the spiritual beliefs and the scientific principles and then blending them in your everyday life, your action steps for every day. It's a process that only takes 15 minutes a day. Once you learn it, you might spend an hour learning the entire system, visualize one, two, three, and then you spend 15 minutes a day with your daily compass so that at the beginning of every day you set your compass in the direction of joy, in the direction of achieving what is important and meaningful to you with joy. How does that sound? Good? Okay, good. Now, um, I want to talk about some free gifts, a couple more free gifts for you. First of all, uh, everybody today can go to my website. Uh, actually, let's go to send you my blog. Go to my blog, zenandzest.com, and you'll see a page that's under the table of contents that says uh, your 10-minute toolkit to feel better fast. Also, in the little welcome box on the right, it, it talks about it. So if you're not sure where it is, that gives you instructions too. So just click on that link, your 10-minute toolkit to feel better fast. And everybody listening can and share it with your friends too. It's completely free for anybody who goes to my blog to get that toolkit. You're going to get the worksheet, Feel Better Fast. You're going to get a, uh, about an eight-minute video of me teaching you how to use it. And then as an extra little freebie, you're going to get an audio excerpt of me reading the first couple of chapters of my book, Everyday Magic and Miracles, Harnessing the Power of Visualizing with the Joy of Inspired Action. All of that's free for everybody listening, okay? A couple more gifts for you. How would you like to um, actually get a question answered? If you want to email me at Renee, R-E-N-E-E, -E, at N, the letter N, joy, J-O-Y, productions.com, with one question, just one question, I will send you something back. I will give you a little tip. Now, of course, I can't do this for everybody, so the first 10 people who email me with a question. I will absolutely answer your question and I will give you a free pass to a group coaching session where I address that question live for people. How about that? Renee at enjoyproductions.com. The last thing I want to want to say to you is this. Um, you should have been invited to this webinar by an email probably from your church, possibly from a friend, but Ultimately, there is a Unity Church or similar organization who's going to benefit uh, from this webinar because I'm helping do fundraisers for different churches and things like that. So when you go to, the, to my website, visualize123.com, whatever you might purchase, if you, if you were received a special link from the church, please, by all means, use that link. If you didn't receive it and you were just referred by somebody, but you know the name of the church or organization, then you can put that in the order form when you there's a place to say who referred to. And that will help make sure that they get some, some proceeds, because it's important. It's a kind of a win-win flow that I'm creating here. I want to make sure I give credit to whoever might have sent you here today. And even when you get the free gift, your 10-minute toolkit to feel better fast. If you would, use that link for it or in the referral, but just put where you came from so I'll, I'll know for sure who sent you so they can get some credits, okay? I wanna make sure I give them some good things too. Thank you so much for being here today. There's one last song I wanna leave you with as, as we wind up, and it's a, it's, the title of the song is powerful, Choice. It's also by Lavender Soul, and here's the reason I wanna close with that today. It is your choice to create the life you want or to continue to unknowingly, unconsciously, without meaning to, continue to create the things you've experienced in the past that didn't work. The things that didn't work in relationships, the things that didn't work about your health or your fitness, the things that didn't work about your career or your finances. If you keep doing the same thing you've always done, you're going to keep getting the same thing you've always gotten. It's time to make a change. It's time to choose consciously to create your life. Thank you for being with me today. Please email me with any questions. Please check out my website. I'd love to hear from you on my blog to know how this benefited you, how this is, has helped your life as you move forward or immediately after the webinar. So again, here's my website, visualize123.com. 
my blog zenandzest.com. Lavender Soul music coming up. If you want to learn more about them, their website is lavendersoul.com. Here's choice. Remember that all things are possible. You must choose to be accountable, responsible, enough to believe, and open your heart to receive. for you 